Welcome back. Well, it's Gladiola season, so today flower design expert Jay Schwanke is here with a look at some different ways to show them off. My old friend Jay, hey. I'm so happy you're here. I'm glad to be here. Oh, I'm glad that you're here too. Yeah, we're going to talk about glads. I went down to the Fulton Street Market and I went to Nagel's booth down there, the Nagel Gladiola farm, and they have beautiful glads that are available. Okay. 48 acres and they're cutting those oh, and they're bringing them in. They're mixing them up. We have four bunches here today. This cool one right here, this one's called Fiesta, but I also got orange ones, green ones, pink ones, and I wanted to show us some cool things that we can do with glads because my sister-in-law said to me she said hey if you're going on there again why don't you tell them what to do with glads because i love them but what else can i do with them yeah absolutely so i thought sure good. let's yeah. do that so go for it okay glad is a line flower that's and so this flower actually takes up as much space as five other flowers because we have all those great little blossoms that open up love that. so we can use a single one in a vase like this now this is a little bit different because what i did was i stuck it into a flower frog Okay. And then I just drop that down inside the vase, so then it'll sit in the middle of that vase, and it's kind of enclosed inside there. That's pretty fun. And that's okay. That's okay, okay. sure, we'll yeah. Bloom. And all of those will bloom up to the top. Now, one of the interesting things with this vase over here, for example, mm -hmm. there's lots of different vases out there. This one's from Accent Decor, but there's lots of vases that hold single flowers. I like the fact that this one holds five single flowers, so I could put five different glads in there. They could be the same idea. color or different colors. It doesn't make any difference. Whatever you fancy. Right. Yeah, now, you'll great. notice the tops of the glads. Very interesting thing. At the top up here, what you'll notice is these are all even. Okay. So what I did was I went through and I tipped the glad. I just took out that top part like that. And then it doesn't send all the strength up to that flower. And it also sends ethylene up to the top that will help open up all those blooms. Okay. So you can see yeah. how sometimes okay. they're curly like this. Okay. Now, over here. I, I want to make that one of those. This is a glomelia. This is a little too difficult for you, okay? <laughs> Aww, come on, Jay. <laughs> Leave this to the professionals. All right, I'm pretty okay. sure that Stephanie or Catherine couldn't put that together either in I would my defense. I would agree. I would agree. <laughs> so what I did was I made that last night, though, because it's, it's an old technique. My grandpa okay. used to make them. But you can use the same technique because what I did was I picked off some of the blossoms. And what I did was I cut the backs off of the blossoms. And then what I do is I just put them together. So I'm sticking oh, one okay. inside the other just like that, so I create that. Now that's how the center's created, and those are glued together. Okay. But then we can drop that into a vase like that. Well, I'm pretty sure I can handle that one. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> that's easy. Great. That's or, pretty in this way, don't forget that you can use the blossoms by themselves. It's so, it's so simple. I mean, this is so cute and so nice. This so is really, really easy. Then the other thing that's real important for you, too, is if you're going to put flowers in a vase, look for this one. You can go to a local florist here and ask them for a pyramid vase. You can buy this vase because notice it's wider at the bottom mm -hmm. than it is at the top. So then when we've got our gladiolas and we're placing them in there, it naturally sends them different directions. Lots so of see, it out. helps you design them easily. And this you can handle, I promise. <laughs> I mean, you know, this oh, is absolutely. easy. But yeah, so, and I love these Fiesta ones. Aren't they fun? Yeah, I like the two colors a lot. The cool part, too, about going to the farmer's market, you get to see everything that's down there. There's also other types of flowers there. We've got the Fulton Street one that's on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturdays. And then we have the one on Plainfield that's on Thursdays today. They have flowers there, too. So it's just a fun opportunity for us to go get flowers and bring them home, homegrown ones. The other cool thing about this, I mean, you know, these are... These are sustainable and wonderful. I mean, they're grown without pesticides and stuff. That's pretty wonderful. Wonderful. So, wonderful. Yeah. Check them all out. Jay, you rock. Thanks for being Thanks with so us. Much. We appreciate it. Now, um, you can talk to Jay next Thursday. He's going to be talking flowers. Um, he'll stick around and do a live web chat. So get your questions ready for Jay. Again, that's next Thursday morning. Now, thanks for watching. Coming up on tomorrow's show, it's going to make a couple of fashion trends work for you, including ways to wear shorts to the office and headbands with any hairstyle. Plus, we'll bring you a live performance from Four Finger Five and give away running engagement passes to G-Force, courtesy of Celebration Cinema. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.